outside my restaurant when I told y'all they gentrifying look at all the stuff they building. So that's why this whole topic Beautiful. I'm in the restaurant now, my restaurant. So all the stuff I gotta get done. Paint. Uh yeah, pretty much paint. This this used to be a what's called strip shop. And um paint, new floors. This, this whole area is gonna be the kitchen. And back there is gonna be my office. So a little cosmetics, nothing too too major or whatever. Um, see what the city want me to do with um I gotta put a other ceiling in or not. New floor, new paint, designs, awnings from the windows out there. Um, yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. New electrical, what you call it? There. Alright. Yeah, so regular standard bathroom, I gotta clean it up. office in this space with the little walls up hook the walls up bang 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 this will be the little office area yeah so I'm figure out what color we're gonna paint it and we're gonna see the after <laughs> what you over there doing girl yeah the place gonna be nice because it used to be a cell phone store as you see yeah so you know I'm ripping all these floors up anyway and we're gonna put new floors yeah the place gonna be nice because it used to be a cell phone store yeah, the place gonna be nice because it used to be a cell phone store. Because it used to be a cell phone store. What's up, y'all? I'm just in here. And my restaurant, it's my storage area here. I'm only showing y'all just a little something, but show y'all my storage area. I got some contractors here now. But yeah, it's a, the storage area, keeping all my supplies. Um, my freezers, just like in the back of the, the area. Uh, my sinks and stuff. I got people here coming to clean. I acquired this building. It's, I have apartments upstairs for it's four bedrooms upstairs so I tell people all the time if you're going to acquire stuff make sure it makes you income you know I can charge two thousand dollars a month alone just for upstairs you know I can charge two thousand dollars a month alone just for upstairs and I have a guy coming here about to clean my my area up. See, this, this is my fire compression system. And I have a guy coming here about to clean my my area up. See, this, this is my fire compression system. I was telling y'all about they gotta come clean this grease. So not bad at all. My walk-in freezer is here. They're gonna come clean this out. stuff so I'm, I'm excited getting this stuff ready up in here trying to work on a few things um, see. So. all right Facebook so I'm gonna let y'all know let's put my sign up I bought a daycare, so we're gonna change it over. So I'm gonna show you all the before. Cause it used to be a cell phone store. All right, Facebook. So I'm gonna let y'all know. Let's put my sign up. I bought a daycare, so we're gonna change it over. So I'm gonna show you all the before. And 
after of how it's gonna look. So this is the front part of my place. And we're doing we're about to get paint and a few other things we gotta do. I'm gonna show y'all it's a corner lot. So we're gonna go around. And this is the side building of it. So I'm gonna get that on and change, paint, whatever, whatever. This goes all the way down to the gate. So I can have tables out here, whatever. People can sit outside. I'm gonna put my grill at the end of there. And I'm gonna show you all the before, then you're gonna see the after. So. So this is the walk-in area where people are gonna come in there. All this is gonna be painted. Everything's gonna be different. TV on the wall. Y'all see, I, I just wanna show y'all the before and after. Uh, my sinks and stuff. I got people here coming to clean. I acquired this building. I have apartments upstairs for its four bedrooms upstairs. So I tell people all the time, if you're gonna acquire stuff, make sure it makes you income. You know, I can charge $2,000 a month alone. So this whole area here is gonna be my kitchen. So people are gonna come up to here. I'm gonna have a counter here. And what are we gonna build out the rest of the kitchen? So have the stainless steel commercial refrigerator. Outside my restaurant, when I told y'all they gentrifying, look at all the stuff they building. So that's why this whole Beautiful sinks little freezer there uh, my sinks and stuff I got people here coming to clean sinks little freezer there sinks or whatever stove is going to go right here that's going to be the prep area we're going to turn that to the prep area one of the bathrooms that's seen that's the basement down there they're down there doing some some work Another bath from here, but this this area is gonna be turned into where my slop sink is. And this area here is gonna be my whole office. We're gonna paint everything. So this whole area will be the office. Yeah, so I just want y'all to see the before and y'all gonna see the after in a couple of months or two or so. So this is gonna be the home of Oh My God Mac and Cheese. All right, my people, I'm gonna give y'all the pros and cons of when you're starting your own business.
All right, my people, I'm going to give you all the pros and cons of when you're starting your own business and give you information of things that you need to know so you can know what to expect. Now, I'm opening up a restaurant. I'm sitting here in my restaurant now. Um, the first thing you do um, when you purchase a property is you have to get property insurance, commercial insurance. Shop around, please shop around. Shop around, get the best price, make sure you get things that's going to cover everything. You want to have at least one to two million dollars worth of liability insurance in case somebody gets sick or fall on your property. You want to have at least one to two million dollars worth of liability insurance in case somebody gets sick or fall on your property, you, you're covered. You want to have insurance to cover the building and the equipment inside. And if you have a good policy like I have, it's going to cover your loss of income. So let's say if, God forbid, you have a fire or a natural disaster where you shut your business down. God forbid you have a fire or a natural disaster where you shut your business down, they will give you a portion of the income that you reported. And, and there's no cap on it. Whatever, whatever, how long it takes for them to get your business back up and running, you will receive a, a, a paycheck. So you're not losing income. Yeah, it is. Well, I'll tell you what. When we get to L.A., you can tell the prison psychiatrist all about it. There's no air. There's no ventilation in here. I told you I was claustrophobic. Come on. What do you think I'm going to do? Jump off a train moving 90 miles an hour? Jack? 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 Thanks. Thanks. Much better. Thank you. Good. What are you doing? What am I doing? Arithmetic. Arithmetic? Maybe I can help you. I am an account. Well, you know, I was thinking after I turn your ass in and collect my money, I'm going to open up a nice little coffee shop. How much exactly are you getting for me? I don't think that's any of your concern, but I'll tell you just to, just to tell you. A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand? Does that mean you take a hundred thousand and let me go? Not by a long shot. Two hundred thousand? I never took a payoff in my life, and I'm not going to start with someone like you. Why not? Because you're a fucking criminal, and you deserve to go where you're going, and I'm going to take you there. And if I hear any more shit out of you, I'm going to fucking bust your head, and I'm going to put you back in that fucking hole, and I'm going to stick your head in the fucking toilet bowl, and I'm going to make it stay there. Well, 
Not to tell you, a restaurant is a very tricky investment. More than half of them go under within the first six months. If I were your accountant, I'd have to strongly advise you against it. I have to tell you, a restaurant is a very tricky investment. More than half of them go under within the first six months. If I were your accountant, I'd have to strongly advise you against it. You would, huh? Yeah. Well, you're not my accountant. No, I mean, if I were your accountant... I, I would... told you, I took you out here... No, I'm just saying that it's a very, very tricky business, and if I were your accountant, I would really strongly have to advise you against it as a... as an accountant. You're not my accountant. I realize I'm not your accountant. If I were you.